name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. The gospel of today, our Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to us about prayer. We uh, maybe did hear too many sermons about prayers, but one extra won't, a, won't harm. We still hear too many, but I'm still struggling with prayer. And I need to review myself a bit and see how I am praying, what can I do to improve my prayer life. Yesterday in Abuna Dawood, he was giving a lecture about prayer as well. So I'll, I'll try to summarize it a bit. So if someone uh, was listening online, hopefully he will, he will find a couple of extra points that I'm not, not going to say them at the end. Uh, if you are not there, then we'll, we'll try to, uh, to get something out of a little story from the book of Exodus. In the book of Exodus, in the first year when the Israelites were out in Sinai, they came against them, the Malachites, the Amaliq. Uh, from the name, big guys, well trained, a problem is coming. In our lives, lots of times we are living in our peaceful life, that does not stay peaceful for long, because most of the time we find a, someone is coming after us. Someone or some fear from inside, some anxiety from inside, or why I'm do, what I'm doing in life, why there is no joy, why there is no hope. Lots of times we, we get tempted from here and there, there is fight. And it's a fight that we should be fighting till the last breath of our life. Our fight is not with uh, flesh and blood, but with Satan and all, and all his power. So what did Moses, Moses do, do when the, Mal the Amalekites came towards him? He told Joshua, Go, take some people, and you go fight them. I'll go on top of the hill. I'll take with me the rod of God, and I lift up my hand and pray to the Lord. And he went, and he took two with him. He took Aaron and Hur with him. And then he prayed for a bit. He's an old man, 80-some years. So his hands, after a bit, started to, to go down. From the top of the hill... He sees Joshua, once his hand is down, is, a, is defeated. He lifts up his hand up, Joshua is, a, is in victory. So he stayed like this, they, they got a stone, he sat on the stone, and Aaron hold his hand from one, a, one side, and Hoa hold his hand from the, a, from the other side, and he stayed lifting up his hand, from the beginning of the day till sun set. And by sunset, Joshua defeated all the Amalekites. And actually, in Moses' days, he never saw them again. We'll try to get some little points from this story for our own prayer life. Whenever there is enemy, my face should be to the enemy or it should be to the Lord who is a, who is defeating for a, who is, sorry, the Lord who is fighting for a, fighting for me. So whenever there is a problem, I need to look towards God. I need to lift up my heart, lift up my heart and, and start praying. It's not like uh, I'm living in a different world. 
there is some things that needs to be done, but the important one is the prayer. So Joshua, you do this, I'll do the important one. Moses did the important one, the standing in front of the Lord, asking for his aid, asking for his wisdom, for his guidance, asking for the victory from, uh, from the Lord. We don't forget our normal responsibility. There is a problem, someone is sick, so okay, let's pray and God will heal him. Yes, but we still need to wait to go to the doctor. We need to do both, but which is the important one? The prayer one. So let's not forget this one, because the common one is to go to the doctor. So we do the common one without thinking, but do we think of bringing the Lord into the picture. This is what, a, what the story that we are trying to a, get a couple of points from is telling us today. Lift up your hands to the Lord whenever there is enemies that are coming uh, to attack you. Do not stand in their face, but stand in the face of God and he will, a, he will fight for you. Moses went up where? on top of the hill. When I am standing here, I see the group in the front as uh, big people. I see the people in the back as a, as a smaller one. When you guys up in the 10th floor or the 20th floor, you see the people are like a whatever. If you look from an aeroplane, even the big trucks are like little ants. Whenever I'm closer to the problem, I see it bigger than its real size. I need to get away from the problem up to the hill closer to him so I see the problem in its own way, in its real size and I, I am full of trust that the one I'm praying to is the one who is, a, who is solving, who is solving uh, the problem. Moses took with him the rod of God. Is it the rod of God or the rod of Moses or the rod of Aaron? It's the same rod that he, he opened the, the Red Sea, that he knocked the rock and the water came. It's his rod that sometimes is called his rod, sometimes it's called Aaron rod, but here it's called the rod of God. And the rod is a symbol of the rod of the, of the cross. The cross where our power comes from. The cross where we remember his love. If he loved me that much that he died for me, then he's telling me now, ask and you will be answered so you can live in joy. He's asking me to ask. And I'm going, doing all my businesses, and I'm forgetting to, eh, to stand in front of him, carrying my, eh, my cross and asking him, with the power of your cross, please, Lord, uh, help me. The cross has its power against all the enemies of the, eh, of the darkness. They ran away from it. I think I told you this story that they... Eh, that one of the saints said about the, uh, the butcher and the, the big stick. I don't know if you can remember this. There is a, a butcher who has his store open. The meat is, a, is hanging. Some blood is going down here and there. So a dog came by and he started to, a, to lick the blood on the floor. No problem. Then he ate. So what did the butcher did, do? He got a big stick and he hit him with it. So next time he's opening the store, the dog comes, he just show him a, show him the stick. He remembers the a. The same story, the dog here is a, is Satan. And he was defeated by the a, by the power of the cross. So each time I am holding to my cross, I'm reminding him of his defeat and of my victory through, through Christ. So keep your, 
keep the Lord of God with you in your, in your prayer. Moses went up the hill, took the Lord of God, and he took with him two more people. He took with him Aaron and, and Hur. It's good to ask other people when you have a problem to pray for you. And when we say other people, other people living on earth and other people living up in heaven and we are, a, we are looking up to them. We ask for the intercession of St. Mary, we ask for the intercession of St. Damiana, we ask for the intercession of all, of all the saints on our behalf. We pray not alone but with the rest of the with the rest of the church. The rest of the church that is the body of Christ, that when one part is feeling some pain, the rest of the body is feeling the same pain. The rest of the body is not the body that, the part that I am, I am seeing, but also the part that already up in heaven, but he still, he still feels our pain and he prays for us and for our salvation. So. It's good to be, not to be alone or not to feel alone. You are not alone. You are part of the big body of Christ. You, are, you have this big cloud of saints that is supporting you and is supporting, and is supporting us. When he let down his hand, Joshua started to, to fall, to be defeated. And this is very common in our life. In our time when we are holding fast to our system, to our economy that we do for salvation, I am a regular in my prayer, regular in my Bible reading. My fortress is strong and heavy, so no enemy can attack. Once I start slacking here and there, there's some openings here and there in that fortress and the enemy is, a, uh, is coming. So it should be like I am growing and I keep growing. It's not like in the fasting time I added a couple of extra psalms in my prayer. Once the, the 50 days are here, let me cut those two psalms and maybe cut the whole of a, the whole of prime. Whatever, whenever I'm lifting up, I need to keep them up. I need to keep my, my hands up. I need to keep my system up all the, all the time, and a bit by a bit, I increase in my love and in my prayer's life towards, uh, towards the Lord. Uh, Saint Athanasius has a nice little saying, lift up your hands, like Jesus lifted up his hands on the cross. Yeah, can we pray doing like this? Yeah, Abuna sometimes do this in the, in the liturgy for a couple of minutes. But maybe it's something good. I don't have to do this while standing in the Fil-Uddas or Khabat al Gambi. Whenever you pray, go into your A. Go into your room. So whenever we are praying here, I don't have to do the long prayer. I don't have to lift up my hands and uh, do all the... Okay, I'm praying to who? Am I praying to the people beside me? I'm praying for myself. I am facing the Lord. Sometimes we, we, te we get carried away with, a, with what is happening around us. They took a stone and put it under him. Moses sat on the stone and they carried his hand from each side. The stone is the rock and the rock is, is Jesus Christ. And this is what he actually did say today. You have not asked, okay, until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive in my name. We use the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in our prayer. And there is the, the Jesus prayer. You say, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, and then a short request or a short petition or a short something, and you repeat it. And we all tend to remember this and do it for some time, and then we, we let down our, our hands. It's good to remember 
the little exercises that we started and continue with, it's good to remember that the name of the Lord is like a, a fortress for, a, for us. We go and, a, and have refuge in, a, in, his, uh, in his name. Moses, the old man, eight years old, his hands were steady till sunset uh, with the help of a, with the two helpers in the rock. Okay, this is a little exercise that Abuna Dawood asked us to do. I'm not sure if a, I'll, I'll try to do it and see. Can we pray lifting up our hands steady till we actually are tired, forget about doing this in the church, but remember to do this in your, in your room in front of him. God, I am remembering the word of Saint Athanasius. I am a, I'm standing in front of you, lifting up my hand, asking for your, a, for your help and for your, a, your uh, asking that you come inside the problem and you solve it your uh, your way, or you don't have to solve it, you gave me a power over it. But I need you with me to fight those, eh, those Malachites who are, eh, who are coming uh, towards me. Steady till sun set. Steady is one of the big problems that we have with, eh, with prayer. If you have a little tree, you cannot plant one day, second day, and then two weeks with no water, and then you start again. The plant is already, is already gone. Uh, one of the apps in the, in the phone now, the version app, it has a streak. So a, you, it keeps a record of how many days in a row you opened your, a, your Bible. And it's surprisingly that a, it's never 365 days. Uh, Everyone try it for, a, for his own sake, how steady I am with my prayer, how steady I am with my Bible reading. Uh, until sunset, uh, God give you a long life till, a, till, till, till the end of our life. We need to keep, to keep the fight. You find the older people are praying more than, than us in, in the uh, whenever we have time to actually stand and lift up uh, our hands. Joshua defeated the Malachite and their people with the help of the prayers of Moses. We don't face our problems alone. We face him asking him to help us with our problems we go up to him on the hill, so we see the problems in their actual size, and we don't imagine that they are way bigger than what we can. We have trust in his power, the power of his cross, that he defeat, defeated Satan before, and he will defeat him again and again uh, for us. We ask others, other people that are living with us, other saints that we we have friendship with, we ask always in his, in his name, and we ask steady, glory be to God forever and ever.